my inclination is to do everything myself and make my own thing. And on my first films, I was able to do that. I mean, they were very small crews. If something went wrong, the art department, something went wrong, I just go fix it. I just do, do it myself. I was in complete control. Star Wars, I couldn't do that. I tried to be in complete control. I tried to do everything myself. And it almost killed me. I, it just was too difficult. And I realized, and, and I was so miserable because I couldn't get things right. You know, my, my, which is, with all young people, I think, your ideals are so much greater than what you can possibly attain. And you don't realize the perspective and you agonize incredibly uh, over the fact that things are not turning out the way you want them to turn out. And while there may be a good job, it's not the best job and it's not the ideal that you're, you're trying to get. Uh, and part of it, and I said, if I could do it myself, I could get it. But I can't do it through, you know, I tell somebody something, and he tells somebody else, he tells somebody else, and I come on the set and it's not right. And uh, it's that kind of uh, problem that I had to deal with. So I had a choice of, I figured if I ever was going to be creative on a large scale, I had to cope with this particular problem. One way to cope with it is to move myself back one step and say, okay, not only am I not going to, I'm just not even going to get involved in that whole world. I'll put other people down there and see what happens. And I'll really do it by remote control and see what happens. And part of it was that learning experience, which I think has been very good for me to be able to step back and, and let go of it. And and you know it's like yeah. it's like building. I used to work in a foreign car service. I was like building up a finely tuned Ferrari that you've worked on for two or three years, and turn it over to some friend of yours, and say, okay, we'll take it out for a spin. 